What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy James here with Beards and Cars. So, also, seeing a lot of new faces here. So if you're new, thank you for subscribing to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about trimming your beard. Is it bad for you? Is it good for you? Uh, I might get beat up in the comments a little bit on this subject. But, I've kind of been experimenting for the last, I don't know, maybe two months now. And what I've noticed is, in these two months, I haven't really been trimming my beard. The, size, the only thing I've been trimming is my mustache, really. And maybe right here on my cheek line. <clears throat> but, usually I'm trimming the size of my beard, the, under my, the underneath of my beard. So what I've noticed in these past two months is that without any trimming, my sides are looking a tad bit, I want to say a tad bit better, but they're having to fill in. So, you know, when you trim your sides here, and this is getting super, super long all through here, and, you know, what happens is this is obviously six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 inches, or however long your beard is longer, and this is staying super short. So if you're blending your sideburns, it's probably okay. But I've decided to let this grow as best I can. It's hard. It's super hard for me. Now, this varies between, you know, person to person because everybody's beard is different. And I want to make that a good, <clears throat> I want to make that a good point there. Everybody's beard is different because for people who have nice, straight, not wiry or curly beards, their beards tend to lay down a lot more so they don't have to deal with all the awkwardness of these sides like my beard. My beard is so curly and coarse that if I did it, cut this down, dude, I'll make a video one morning of like maybe like a morning routine, but my beard is so puffed out and just, it's so jacked up that I almost feel like I'm obligated and have to trim these sides down. Now, like I said, for the past couple months, I hadn't trimmed it, but what I've noticed in these past couple months is I haven't trimmed anything except my mustache. And what I've noticed in these past couple months is under here <clears throat> I'm developing a lot of tangles and knotted hairs um, and it feels like my even though I take care of my beard and I maintain my beard it feels like I have one of the most uh, <clears throat> unmaintenance taken care of beards is what I would say Underneath here is just like almost every time, no matter how much I wash, co-wash, how much butter, balm, oil I put in, no matter what, when I run a comb through it, even if it's a long tooth wooden comb, it still snags and pulls. And with that being said, <clears throat> that right there is the difference for me um, of not trimming your beard at all. You know, a lot of people don't want to trim it at all. So, and, and, this, and this situation right here is a perfect and valid point on my side if you have a beard in my you know like mine it's thick curly coarse whatever it may be <clears throat> and you're not main, uh, you're not doing maintenance trims like I do I usually do a maintenance trim every month I do a little nibbing here and there just a little bit but for the past couple months I haven't really done that so in the past couple months I've also noticed like I said all these knots and tangles and it's so hard to get even a comb through it so I have to use like one of those uh, like uh, ouchless brushes or whatever, you know, and, and that helps out a lot, but it's still, man, I'm getting a lot more snags. I'm pulling a lot more hairs out, and it's because I'm not trimming and they're just getting tangled up under here. It feels like I'm not taking care of my beard. So in this, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about is trimming your beard bad or good for you? You know, in, in, my, in my personal opinion, when I don't trim my beard, especially under here, it is obviously bad for me. My beard is getting tangled. Like I said, I can't run a comb through it. <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether it's in or, out the, in or out the shower, whether it's like it is now. It just It's so hard to get it through that bottom part, man, without getting tangled and ripping some hairs out of there, man. So, in my opinion... I believe that trimming your beard is very important. Now, I don't want, now, I'm not talking about trimming an inch off or two inches off or nothing crazy like that. I'm talking about literally just trimming, you know, maybe an eighth inch, depending on how long your beard is, maybe an eighth inch, a uh, half inch, eighth inch, or maybe quarter inch of trimming the beard off, just getting rid of those dead ends. And also, I've noticed that within these last couple months of not trimming, 
my beard has grown, but it has not grown as fast as it usually grows. Um, my beard easily grows a half, I'd say a half inch per month. And by not trimming, I don't feel like my beard has grown nowhere near that because like I said, I think it's just all the all the knots and all the split ends and dead ends on the bottom of it, man. It's it's just not working out. So, and I know this is a touchy subject because some people believe, you know, don't trim your beard if you want to grow. And that's just, that's not the way it is, man. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that, you know, I'm, I'm, not a prof I'm not a professional hair grower or nothing like that, but I can only go with what I've been kind of researching and developing for the last two months. And that is not trimming my beard and the effects that it's putting on my beard now by not doing that. So there's a lot of people out there that don't want to say, don't trim your beard, don't do this, don't do that. And uh, I'm here to tell you guys, I've had a beard for a long time. This isn't my first beard journey. Uh, this is probably the longest I've had my beard. Uh, usually it's shorter, you know, but um, this isn't my first beard. So I'm not just out there shooting advice out there, you know, and just hoping somebody grabs onto it. I'm literally telling you from somebody that's had a beard for a while, and um, I'm hoping that it, that it grabs onto some of you guys because this personally is affecting me by not trimming the underneath of my beard, dude. I cannot explain to you how much that it snags and pulls and yanks hairs out, dude, by not trimming it just a little bit every month. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not talking about nothing crazy, just a little small trim on the bottom, dude. And that's all it takes just to keep that nice flow and keep it thick and all that. So... With that being said, guys, I will be going home uh, either today or sometime this week, and I will be cutting some of this bottom off. I need to do a bigger trim anyways, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not because I'm really liking the length my beard is at, but I need to trim some of the bottom off, period. And um, like I said, if you guys aren't doing this, I feel like you may be in a bad spot, and that's maybe all it is if you're getting a lot of snags and tangles. Cut some of the bottom of that beard off, man, just a little bit. Just trim it just a little bit. And... Uh, and, and see the difference, you know, because like I said, mine, I do this every month. And as soon as I didn't do it for two months, and I've always been able to get a comb through my beard, especially a long, wide tooth wooden comb. It's always it's always just slid straight through my beard with no problems at all until I didn't do any trimming for the last two months. So I'm hoping this video helps some of you guys out. Um, like I said, this is something that I've personally been kind of going by the months to seeing what will happen. And it seems like every other couple of days, it seems like it's a little bit harder to get that comb through my beard. And it's driving me absolutely insane. Uh, and I use a lot of beard products, guys. Beard oils, beard bombs, beard butters. Um, I wash my beard. I co-wash my beard. I do everything I'm supposed to until these last few months I hadn't trimmed. And that's where I can feel a lot of snagging. So... And like I said, I may get some comments that uh, that go against all this, but this is my personal opinion, <clears throat> and I have been researching this and going through it for the last couple of months just to make sure before I kind of threw it out there. And I was already pretty much aware of this. I just wanted to do it just to make sure 100% solid that that's what's going on in my beard right now. It's because I'm not trimming. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you do these things, if you do any kind of maintenance trims. If you don't, uh, <clears throat> then, you know, you know, everybody's, like I said, everybody's a little bit different. For somebody with a straighter beard, it may not be a big thing. But for somebody with me with a curly, coarse beard, dude, I think, I believe it's very important. Even with a straight beard, man, you start getting those dead ends, guys, and you got to cut them off. So, <clears throat> with that being said, guys, drop a comment down below. You guys, there's a lot of guys watching the videos, man. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you watch my videos. If you don't, you know, that's fine too. <clears throat> it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't hurt to give a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. It's uh, just either way, man, just to let me know, you know, what's going on. And uh, so drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and like I said earlier, thanks to all the new faces. See you guys in the next one.